opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. Nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. d4 opens up the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Nd6 retreats the knight to a central square where it attacks the bishop on b5. Dx e5 opens up the center, captures the e5 pawn and attacks the knight on d6. This is the only good move. This wins a knight. This allows the knight to control more squares. Capturing that knight wins material. This prepares the bishop for development. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only move that works. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This moves the queen to safety. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This moves the queen to safety. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is the last book move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.